This is Battlefield Hardline. We're on Xbox Series X. This game does have some interesting elements to it. This is a spin-off of the Battlefield series where you are jumping into the role of these cops. It's definitely something unique. It was done by Visceral and it definitely didn't necessarily help the studio out because they were having a lot of troubles at the time and this only made things worse. Anyways, they thought that the Battlefield series, I guess, was more versatile than it maybe was in regards to doing something different, as in being a kind of episodic style, because you can see here we're on episode 3. Uh, like, it's not episodic, but it's the campaign is split into episodes, if that makes sense. I'm trying to break that down. Anyways, your police officers, you're trying to investigate things. It's quite cliche in some regards, in terms of you know the narrative and what happens within it it was a, a decent story it, it's not anything too memorable i do recall the, the characters i thought they were kind of interesting but yeah outside of that it was it wasn't too amazing anyways so we got the single player we got the multiplayer which we'll be showing off after so i guess i should mention that being on series x we're getting the traditional you know, details about the game, uh, traditional resolution, everything like that, which is 720p at uh, 60 FPS target. But we do have auto HDR support, which does look kind of lovely and really helps, um, you know, make the game look a little bit better. It's sort of like this cloud, the skyline looks really nice, it, it does, but the game itself is, is very, very rough. It's, it's jaggy around the edges. You've been seeing, hopefully, as I've been seeing, a lot of poppin' within the environment and yeah it's just not necessarily the most wildly exciting of releases within the series fun the drill bale yeah but it does have some neat characters and I mean if you really want like the classic kind of cop story I, I think this one sort of hits the mark for that while at the same time kind of being a very easygoing play and but you know, I, I did like when we actually got Battlefield games that had like a straight structure story to them. I, I don't really, I'm not a huge fan of the, the war story setup. I mean, they're cool ways to tell smaller stories, but there was just something about the, I guess you could say style of actually having a cohesive narrative that I did enjoy about the Battlefield titles, even though they weren't necessarily perfectly done, if uh, that kind of makes sense. Anyways, ooh, Gator. Yeah, definitely a, a very, different sort of fascinating setting I think because we would have like even back then I was never thinking they would have done a a cop type of battlefield game I think it did lead way to some neat multiplayer moments but I don't know if this is really what you think of when you think of uh, a battlefield game which is kind of neat I was hoping there'd be more action here I was like you have thrown it to a long opening cutscene and now we're just basically doing casual driving. I was hoping for something a little bit more action-packed, but yeah, you can see how brutal the environment looks kind of driving through here. It's it's rough. It honestly is. It, it looks like there's a nice sense of density to it. Okay, I understand docking, but you know, past that, it, it's just, it's kind of, yeah, it hasn't held up the best. I don't think it's necessarily too bad looking but I think Battlefield 4 actually might look a little bit more impressive than this one at this point because it's just like very very jaggedy around the edges but yeah you're, you're, you're a cop and that kind of changes how the conflict is done too which I guess is kind of neat because you're not directly just going in and I guess shooting your way through things you're actually trying to be a little bit of a police officer at some points I guess are we just literally going over here to uh, secure the drugs We've got the drugs. <gasps> Digital G. Ooh! Shark. Or is it a crocodile? It's not a shark. Why did I say shark? It's a crocodile. Or is it an alligator? Shark. <laughs> wow, that's, that's really in-depth. Croc looks good. Why are we getting a fadeaway? I know that was intense, right? Yeah. Then just say thanks. Okay. Good thing she's got a big knife. Thanks. Maybe we 
Get across the fence. Just out here being a cop, doing cop things. Okay, so the game totally crashed when we were grappling hooking here, so we'll see if that actually works this time or not. Uh, that was kind of funny, so I guess that's something to look out for, is potential crashes maybe while recording and playing? I don't know, but... Yeah, that was definitely unexpected. As unexpected as the fact that every good police officer has grappling hooks. Oh, and, and zip lines too! The perfect part of every cop's arsenal. Zip lining, of course. How could I be so you foolish? Bullseye. Wow, they just set up a zip line in like two seconds. That's pretty impressive. Anyways, yeah, the campaign had some interesting story beats to it, and you could like arrest people. Put your hands up. Don't move. All right, well, I guess they are not freezing. We're clear. I wanted them to. Oh, yeah, and then you scan from your phone. This game was really weird. It really, really, they did some strange things to the Battlefield series in this one that I think are kind of comical. Let me guess, we're not going to leave with our, you know, regulation or regulated uh, cop boat. We're going to take theirs. Huh? Tactical gear, that's what I'm talking about. Check the radio. Frequency for you. One, two, zero. It's got some deep information here. What do you think? What are we gonna find there? Whoa. Is this stuff heavy? Look at all those pretty points of light. All up and down the lake. Well, let's take their boat and go check it out. You're right out there, cop lady. Let's investigate the boathouse. Was she just glitching in and out of the floor there? Huh, maybe this was a bit glitchier than I remember it being back in the day. Huh. Definitely fascinating. So anyways, that's basically, you know, the single player portion of the game. Just kind of showing it off, giving you an idea of what it's like. Battlefield, but with the cop edge. Which I guess is interesting, because it's not too bad for... Like, I don't hate when games try to do something a little bit different with existing, you know, genres and titles and franchises. But, yeah, I don't think this one quite hit the mark with people. But let's, uh, let's dive into the multiplayer. That's got some cool moments to it. Okay, so this is the multiplayer portion of the game. There are actually some matches, and it's, it's pretty late. So, you know, there's a respectable amount of people within those matches, too, which is kind of decent. But... Yeah, I was kind of hoping we'd run into some more of the actual hardline specific kind of modes because we've got, you know, obviously Conquest here, which is like that classic um, battlefield mode. I can't believe people actually play this still, to be honest. It's weird. It's like, yeah, let's go do some battlefield hardline, guys. I mean, there's so many other battlefield titles. Anyways, it's just, I find it kind of shocking. So what's neat about this one is the fact that, you know, it's, it's kind of like a, a cops versus robbers type thing. So it's a lot less military-driven, but at the same time, very, very military-driven, which is kind of funny. Well, I guess it's American police, right? So you gotta keep that in mind. So it's, it's tip your typical uh, battlefield experience, you know, lots of different game modes, battling it out, squad-based spawning and movement, and uh, environments with a sense of a little bit of destruction to them. But of course, the the style of the maps and that are very much of uh, like mostly I want to say metropolitan type uh, setups like there's these cool ones where it's like downtown I remember doing games where you're like grabbing money and you're fighting back and forth and you know they had some fun again cops and robbers type modes and they also had these competitive type ones was there a guy right there I can't really tell the visuals are like super super muddy in this like really awkwardly muddy <laughs> And I think, you know, probably at this point, with this checkup on the game, it might be our last chance of showing off the uh, the multiplayer component of this. Because I'm assuming down the road, if there was a point where I would check this out again, you know, it, um, it, it wouldn't have people still playing online. And at the same time, I don't think this is one where we're going to necessarily see any sort of 
you know, remaster anything down the road. I, I don't see that really being a thing. And I think it's just going to largely be a forgotten battlefield. And I'm not saying it's like a, a bad game by any means. I'm just saying it's definitely not what people expected. And I think it was, it was interesting. You know, they did add a lot of different modes and a lot of different things for the online components. And it had all these sort of elements of, you know, the battlefield experience that you kind of expect. That was a horrible shooting. Horrible, horrible, horrible shooting there by me. And it was just kind of, it was weird, because it basically just took the Battlefield 4 style and I guess kind of tried to do its own thing with it, which I think is admirable. At the same time, it, it's certainly not what people were looking for, and at least I don't think so at the time. I don't really ever hear anyone like mention this game or talk about it, or I haven't even seen anyone play this game since it's like, really since around when it came out. I actually, the, the reason I got this game even, is I, I didn't buy it, you know, when it was out, and I, I didn't actually get it to review, but there was like community sessions that our, our local Xbox group, PR group was, was doing. So they're like, you know, if you don't have Battlefield Hardline, let us know, we'll get you a code for it to check out. And uh, yeah, that's how I ended up getting this one to like cover and review and stuff, which was pretty cool back then. It was definitely, hmm, it was interesting, because we did have some fun, we did some, like, multiplayer sessions together, and there's this one where you're, like, in a factory and you get to burn all these special plants. <laughs> so that was kind of, uh, neat. And then, you know, obviously we've got, like, vehicles here. They're kind of weird, though, they're, like, not really police-type vehicles, I don't think. But then again, I, I don't know what kind of crazy armorized vehicles they have going on in the U.S., you know. Who knows, right? Well, I, I guess U.S. police people would know. But, uh, yeah, it's just kind of cool. It's got the, the typical things you expect from a Battlefield series. Level up, get different gear, different armor, weapons, tools. There's different classes present. You know, squad base spawning on each other. Battling it out. Trying to take over the places. Working to take over the control points. You can, like, crouch and go prone and be all intense and stuff. You know, this game actually might look really nice if I were, like, if they were able to give it some sort of enhancement. I don't think they will, but if they were able to, like, that looks just, like, some of it just looks so, so bad. Like, the trees look awful in this. Like, really, truly awful. And I can't remember if this used to look really good or, you know, what on that, because they don't have a lot. Like, I don't really have any nostalgia or real memory for this one being anything that I really truly enjoyed or found special but it was, it was a battlefield that existed and I think one that is worth jumping into and, and showing and talking about really is, is the main thing around this one it's got uh, I don't know a neat element of play to it and conquest isn't too bad here you know it's, it's easy going action for battlefield and it feels right on brand with the battlefield series and I, I kind of well, I almost forgot that this one was even a thing until uh, someone had mentioned it, and I was like, oh yeah, yeah Battlefield Hardline. I guess that's one of the options, because I think I've covered basically all of the different Battlefield titles that you could play on here. Almost. Almost all of them. I mean, there's still some old, older ones, but, you know, on, like, the Xbox One era, I think I've got those all sort of checked out on the Series X at this point. So it's neat to have seen. They, they actually released, like, a lot of them over the generation. That's That's for sure. <laughs> Just kind of nuts to like think back like timeline wise of when these all released and what I was doing and yeah it, it's neat because they don't even seem full tilt on Battlefield these days you know they do a lot of projects they're um, dice right they usually have a lot of things but yeah this was this is that weird spin-off thing and I don't know I'm always curious to see what people sort of think about these oddball children titles where it's like oh we're, we're gonna try something new I think it's good for franchises to get something creatively different, because you never know if it hits the mark. And I think the cops and robbers concept is good. I just don't think the story was anything special, and I don't think the multiplayer really, truly pushed you to that. Because obviously, we're not playing those modes, those modes don't really have players in them, we're playing you know, Conquest, right? Which is just like a regular run-of-the-mill kind of mode, right? It's, it's nothing special. But anyways, that is uh, Battlefield Hardline. I hope you enjoyed this 
look at the experience and the memories of jumping in, being a cop, battling people on the battlefield, and trying to survive, and taking in some visuals that really aren't the prettiest these days. It's really, like, kind of awkward for shooting and stuff because it looks a little bit it's not blurry but it's kind of like really muddy if that makes sense and it's not a high level of fidelity in the environment not like <laughs> the titles we see today it's crazy how far we've we've come in a, in a short span and this game kind of helps showcase that but i do like that it's going to kind of a rising i think a rising sun at this point from pure night i think that's kind of fascinating but yeah, definitely some different things with this one. Oh, fire! Okay, I thought it might be fun to interject a little bit of the actual high smoke because I did find a lobby that's kind of presenting this off here. So we got like one side kind of, you know, heisting and stuff, and the other side trying to uh, prevent them from doing so, obviously. Oh, jeez. That was a good grenade. That was a very, very good grenade. But it's sort of these like smaller map setups, you know, a little bit more focus for players, unlike Conquest, which is obviously very big in scale. Kind of just a neat, uh, I, I guess you could say, play on on Battlefield, trying to do different things with the modes. Ow. Getting just clunked with stuff. Shots right up the bat as I try to make my way on Last Man of Squad. Oh no, what did we do? Yeah, I, I guess, you know, it's almost like a sort of a play on, like, Rush, I suppose you could say, just in terms of the style of this one. Really? I, I kind of like a lot of headshots I thought in there. Like I really, oh, it's, yeah, I assumed I was injuring this guy, but it's still so very rough. I, I do think it's kind of neat that it's so metropolitan, I suppose you could say, in terms of being like in the city and that. Like you really do feel like you're in the middle of some larger city, even though the visuals are like super, super rough. That's, that's for sure. It's, uh, not the most graphically detailed of environments, at least when it comes to the res resolution and stuff. It really makes you feel like you're playing some kind of muddled thing. But they do have, you know, like, cool kinds of destruction, I guess you could say, in this one, which is kind of neat. Makes sense for, like, a city setup and the scope of it. There we go, getting some kills, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, I guess extra magazines. What are they doing? They're blowing holes in the wall. That's exciting. Hey, kit, motherfucker. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that's great for monster fish. Oh jeez, laser trip mine? Are you kidding me? That's a little unexpected. But yeah, I, I think these kinds of modes are a little bit fun and different and help make it stand out. Maybe they should have just like skipped conquest in general and just went for this. That might have been better in the long term for them just to keep people focused on those kinds of missions, but the cash thing in that is kind of fun. What are we doing? Are we grappling hooking? <gasps> we've got to escape with the packages now that we've ow gotten absolutely annihilated here. So I think that was kind of fun. Anyways, I just wanted to throw this in here because I, I thought it was, you know, if I, I could find a match of people, it was important to uh, kind of show this in action so you get the full scope of what you know, the valve, this, what this game has to it. Oh, we lost. Cool. 